Hello? Hey. Hey, Derek, can you hear me? I hear you just got off a plane. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just got off a plane. Oh, great. Wonderful. You had safe travels then. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I, well, I appreciate you taking the time for a couple quick questions, man. Um, how you doing today? I am well, you sir. Doing well, doing well. It's a nice day out. A couple quick questions. Um, so when people see that t-shirt, right, they get a little bit shocked and confused and, and stuff like that. I, I, that's some experiences that I've experienced. Um, I actually posted your video and I uh, got a couple people just sort of not really fully, I think, understanding where you're coming from. And so why, why do you think people sort of get confused about stuff like that, about the shirt? Anytime you have a, a, a high percentage rate of whites who open one part, they're confused anyway. So that's to be expected. Mm. They're going to be confused. So I use that as shock value to get their ears and their eyes, and then I bring the message out. So, you know, black people need to get over their sense of embrace things and move along. And whatever it takes to bring us together along with whites, black or well, let's unite. And for a better of so this is why I put that out there. Right, so you're saying it's more of a message of, of just cutting away all the bullshit and just coming together in unity in sort of an extreme way for people. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's why I did grab the attention of the nation, and that's exactly what it did. Right, right, right. Everybody's talking now, so hey, mission, mission accomplished, the first step. Yes, sir, mission accomplished. I, I respect that, man, yeah. I think in this day and age, you know, you kind of have to have an extreme viewpoint to even get people to pay any sort of attention to you. So for, for you to have an extreme viewpoint, but it's based in a, in a, from unity, it's based in an intention of unity. I think that's really honorable and, and respectful and I, I respect it. Um, yeah, but I guess, you know, for some people that still might not get the message, you know, what could you, how could you explain it to them a little bit more and, and coming from your perspective? Well, I put out a statement shortly after that when I seen a few critics, a little criticism, a little criticism. I saw the message that you're more concerned about the printing on my shirt than a government that is taking your basic rights and your freedom. That's what I put out there. So this was intentionally done because I was called at by a black woman married to a white lady. Uh, she was with this white woman and she gets out of the car and point her thing in my face and says, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're in a Trump hat, make a very great hat, and you're a nigga. I say, you're right, I'm niggas for Trump. That's when I came up with that. So it's just a shock value of him to get attention and yeah. I was having embrace it, get my brand that, going with his shirt. And I'm gonna speak about it. I don't care if white folks say it, I don't care who say it. This is free America. You have a right to free speech. You have a right to uh, free expression. So instead of them saying Uncle Tom, which they don't know Uncle Tom, the one here freed the slaves, or calling people coon, you should be trying to find out where, why this man support Trump. Would read, that's the message that you, that question that should be answered, which is not being, it's just like, they don't have any facts. They just throw something out that a black woman say, well, you know, you're a white man, uh, ass liquor you want the right man ass but she's oh hell no i said do you not know that joe biden is white you know so it's public school education is really showing and it is not for the public domain right well something to go off that i just think i just think it's the craziest thing for any white president to say he had he said the quote if you don't vote for me you ain't black i mean what the hell is that you know what i'm saying like right right exactly so, so you're a fan of Trump, obviously. Um, I just wanted to know what is just one of your favorite things that Trump has done. I like when he, uh, he did the black car, car. He did the what? What again? When he uh, tried to permanently fund the HBC colleges, I like that part. I like when he donated 250 million. It's so much that he's done. I like his platinum plan. I like that he took up the uh, prison reform thing and he was fighting against this uh, crooked justice system. So I'm 100% with him on that. I was black unemployment fell down to about 2.3 percent on the president trump these things were great if the people open their eyes take the scales off and look at his policies they will support him also mm -hmm. amen um another quick question uh why do you love america 
I love America. This is my home. Only a fool would tell his own home. Now, it doesn't come from Africa, you know, else I came from right here in America. This land belonged to me, just like it belonged to the Indians and everybody else here. I was born here, and I love this country. My kids are here. My grandkids are here, and I will fight to the end and have a free country for them to grow up in. Amen, brother. Um, and basically, just where can people find you? Uh, what, what you got going on? Anything you want to promote? Just let me know. I'm mostly on Twitter. That's at Gibson for New York State. You, you can find me right there on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. And I'm shout out being on all the things out there, but I'm on Instagram. I'm on True Social as Gary Gibson. Mm -hmm. uh, but, and I also have the t shirts. If you want to buy a first one t shirt, you can go to my website, NMT, True Black Republican, and uh, you can purchase one of those t shirts. Right on, right on. All right, well, I appreciate your time, sir. If there's anything else you want to just let people know, this this would be your chance. I'll be holding rallies to register people all over the country. If you're interested in your city, reach out to me. Let 718-414-9301. All right, all right. I'll put all your information up and all that, and I appreciate your time, sir, and have a beautiful rest of your day, all right? Wise, thank you. God bless.